Hey, it's me, Jay Evans, and it's time to talk the talk. And what I'm talking about now is Tamar Braxton's new show, Get Your Life. Did y'all watch Tamar Braxton's new show? Did y'all get into the show? Did y'all like the show? Did you feel like you got your life? Let me tell you what I felt like. I felt like it was a ball of confusion. Like the temptation saying, remember that song? If you have not heard that song, go listen to that song. Because that's what I feel about this show. Now, I don't even know what to make of it. Before I say this, let me say all topics are alleged. And allegedly they are strictly for gossip and entertainment purposes. So, don't come for me saying, oh, Jay Evans, I'm going to see you. Because if it's something that is kind of gossipy, I'm going to say allegedly because the only thing I own outright is the Taco Bell sauce in my refrigerator and it's been there for a while so I probably need to go ahead and throw it out but this show was just all over the place it, now Tamar allegedly did not like the way that the show portrayed her in David um this show started off with Tamar in I just felt I had to watch it twice. That's how lost I was. Um, one of my friends had texted me was like, Oh, you know, we were just texting it was like the Tamar show was on. I was like, It's on? And he was like, Yeah, you the one that told me about it. I was like, Oh, so then two people like DM me like, Are you watching the show? And then another person called me. So I was like, Okay, let me pay attention. It probably I was fifteen minutes late. But <sighs> I, I couldn't like really get into it. So when it came on again, I rewatched the 15 minutes that I lost out on them. And this is what I got from it and what happened. She met with Mona Scott Young. Um, Mona, a lot of people know she's over the Love and Hip Hop franchise. She's been Missy Elliott manager for like many, many, many years. She is a beast, okay? She's probably the black Kris Jenner. Um, and she met with Tamar. They chopped up, you know, a couple of subjects. She asked her, was Vincent jealous of her? Um, Tamar let her know that she didn't get to work with producers. She didn't sing in front of people. Now, what did y'all have going on, Tamar? Because I'm starting to think maybe that was not Vince. Maybe that some of it was you, Tay-Tay. Because it was very confusing. Like, from watching this first episode... I didn't see what she was portrayed in a negative light. Now, Mona did ask her, was she taking on too much trying to do this show, this documentary, whatever she wants to call it, trying to do an album? She said it had been like three years since she did an album. Um, then Tamar opened up to her. She said that she lost her home. She lost her family. She lost herself. And she started crying and said she's trying to find herself. And the only thing I'm thinking is... If you are trying to find yourself and you're trying to pull yourself together, you don't need to be doing this show, okay? Like, you're going to end up in, allegedly, she did, you know, commit suicide or attempt to, but you keep on this same path and you're going to end up like Mariah Carey after she made glitter and it flopped at the box office. You're going to end up like that, Tay-Tay. So you might need to step away from the limelight but, you know, maybe she did this to get out of her contract. That's what a lot of people are saying with we TV. Now, then the show rolled over to them being at David's house because at that point they were still together. She was staying with him. They had Taco Tuesday and brought in the crew that was shooting um, and treated them to tacos. Then Tamar went on to say that David had been an amazing boyfriend. David said he did not want to be on camera during him um, the time he was actually sitting talking with the camera, but you didn't want to be on camera. But you were doing it for Tamar because he is there for Tamar. He said that he is a finance guy and that's not what he's used to doing. Okay, David. Yeah, y'all saw David on the... um. Instagram live if you didn't see it click my description that link that I talk about it is there 
and the other videos that I did on Tamar are there and he's actually here on YouTube. You can pull up his channel and see where he talks about Tamar. Yeah. Okay, then Tamar meets with her dream coach. Okay, for people that are like, Jay Evans, what is a dream coach? Apple pies, I can't make this up. Go watch the show. A dream coach, this is via the show, is a creative coach who utilizes a method called dream work. Okay, dream work. Like, remember in a Freddy Cougar's movies where people were scared to go to sleep because Freddy Cougar would show up? I guess this dream coach can help with that kind of stuff. Okay, and... They analyze your dreams and comfort your subconscious in order to reach its highest potential. Now, the dream coach is Goli Sami or Sammy. I'm not good with names like that. Um, she's the dream coach. She says that she's worked with actors, artists, musicians, directors. When they asked her some of the people that she's worked with, she mentioned Jessica Lane, Mickey York, Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling. I didn't hear any African-American names. Did you? Did you catch any African-American names? Now, Tamar, you is in Los Angeles. This is some... Los Angeles, California, hippie stuff. You got a damn dream coach. Um, now, you couldn't even work with Ayana. Vince said, you need to be working with me because I'm a life coach. Self-appointed life coach. I'm not going to charge you all this money. i help you get it together, Tamar. Now, the dream coach, uh, Goalie, said she wanted her to write down whatever she dreams and then they'll discuss it and figure it out. Tamar, anybody can do that with you. Talk to you about your dreams and say what they think it is. What is wrong with you, Tamar? Um, got this lady like a hippie in there. Then the lady, Goalie, said she needs 10 minutes of silence before she goes to bed. Write down questions to her inner self and go to bed at night. Um, if she does this assignment, she can't have sex, drink, or smoke. Turn your phone off and you need to be in silence so you can have a dream in its purest form now every night when we go to sleep we don't always have a dream or a nightmare so this lady is telling you um magically every night you're going to have a dream tamar now maybe if you eat five or six pieces of fried chicken and you thinking about some stuff maybe you will have a dream but i thought that this was some bull I mean, it was just stupid. Um, then she said, the the dream coach, that's what she called herself, Goalie said, she knows that this sounds kooky, but it works. It doesn't sound kooky. It sounds like some bull, and you need to stop playing these bunny hop jackrabbit games, a uh, dream coach. <sighs> Then the dream coach went to the studio with Tamar. Tamar met up with producer Jay White. Um, you might know him from the Cardi B singles, um, Bodak Yellow. That single sold over 10 million copies, I think. And the song, I Like It, I think that one um, also sold 10 million copies because they said he had like diamond singles. That's with Cardi B. She met with him to work on an album. She said it was her first time working on an album without Vincent. And she was scared to sing in front of people. But she also wanted to write. So then at this point, they come to Tamar's house and she loses her voice. Um, after that, Apple Pies, the show went downhill. Um, I, I couldn't just focus on it. I couldn't keep up. Um, they did show, like, the next week episodes where David is questioning her about the dream coach and about Vincent coming to the house. Vincent is the father of her child, okay? When you get involved with somebody that has a child, new person, the two people that used to be together, they're going to have to communicate. They're going to have to see each other. So get out your feelings and get out your own way, David. Um, then Tamar said she told the coach she had a dream about Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is not even finna fool with you. You talking about in the dream he was your boyfriend. Tyler Perry don't want no parts of you, Tamar, okay? He might want another part of 
whoever, because I ain't no telling. But Tyler Perry is not going to be dealing with you, so you can hang that up. Now, this is what I think Tamar needs to do. Um, because the only person that Tamar listens to is Miss Evelyn Braxton. They call her Miss E. Okay, I feel like even with her father, she doesn't listen to him like that. She doesn't, not to say she doesn't respect her father, but when Miss E talks, Tamar listens. That's the only person that can calm her down. I feel like she has a great respect and love for her mother, and that that's that connection to her. That's one of her lights in her life is her mother. The other one is her son, Logan. Now, when I watched the scenes where Logan came in, Tamar was a whole different person. It's like her whole world lit up. Those are your two lights, Tamar. I think you need to, since David allegedly put you out this house, go stay with Miss E. It's okay if you got to stay with Miss E. Go stay with her, Tamar. She's going to protect you. She's going to look out for you and little Logan. You can spend time with Logan. That's what you need to do. Spend time with your son. You don't need no man. You need your son. And he needs his mother. But that seems to be like a source of joy for her. Her child. And to me, when a person has a child, that's something that will make you fight greater to get yourself together. Um, This whole dream coach and all that killed that sis. Fly me in, give me $3,000, and I'll help you with Miss E. Because that's, that's as a life coach, that's the prescription I write to you to stay with Miss E for six to nine months. Or maybe they need to do like Britney Spears, how they came in and got a conservatorship. Britney, they ain't let her go from that conservatorship. It's been over 10 years. I ain't even think they last that long. That's what we need to do with you, Tamar, okay? Miss E needs to be your conservator. Because Miss E does not play any games, okay? Bring me in as your life coach. Ayana couldn't fix you, but sis, I can fix you. Because I'm going to make you do the work. I'm going to make you stop messing with these dudes. And focus on your child and focus on yourself. And if you want to sing, stop acting scared. You can sing. You got a voice. Sit in there with the producers and sing. But maybe you don't need to sing. Like how when Whitney Houston came back and then... Unfortunately, she lost her life. I felt like it was a lot of pressure for Whitney Houston to be this great, powerful singer and to have so many expectations. And maybe if she wouldn't have did another album, she would still be here. She wouldn't have that pressure. So maybe you don't even need to sing, Tamar. You need to be a great mom and find other things to focus on. Go to Miss Evelyn House. Miss E, open up the door for Tamar. Send me my ticket, Tamar. I fly coach. Now, I'm not going to pay for it. If I'm going to be your life coach, fly me in, coach. Hand me my $3,000. Not a check. Certified funds, please. And let's work on this healing. But this show, it, this first episode was a hot garbage can mess. Like, throw the whole show away. I didn't like it. It, it, just, it was just all over the place. It was a ball of confusion, like the Temptations say. So... I'm going to try to watch the next one. Now, she did do that hair show on VH1. That one lost me. This one is looking like if it doesn't get better in another episode or two, I'm going to check on out like David Ruffin when they put him out the Temptations. That's going to be me. I'm going to check myself out. Y'all ain't got to kick me out. So, we will see what happens next, Apple Pies. And I know you're saying, Jay Evans, what is an Apple Pie? I've said it a thousand times. It's my subscribers. If you're not one, you need to subscribe. Why? So we can stay in contact. So, like how people suggested, you know, hey, the show, I take suggestions. We can chop it up like veggies in a food processor for your dressing. So, subscribe, set your alerts. You can look through my playlist of me running my mouth about any and everything because this it's America where you can run your life. It is almost Friday. Thank God it's Friday because I live for the weekend like the OJs, y'all. So, Apple Pies, y'all be safe. Click that description. You'll see other Tamar videos. And I guess we'll see if Tamar can do better next week. But I'm only giving this show two more shots. And after that, baby, they can go and put me out like I said, like I'm David Ruffin. All right, apple pies.